Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. In today's video, we are going to build a Python-based machine learning model which will predict the marks of a student or the percentage of a student on the basis of given feature, that is, how much hours he she devotes to his learning. As far as the requirements for building this model is concerned, to build this model, you need to set up Python on your system. In addition to Python, you need Jupyter Notebooks or Google Colab to build this machine learning model. We need to install all the necessary libraries such as Pandas, Matplotlib. These libraries can directly be installed through pip command in your command prompt or you can even use Jupyter Notebook and add an exclamation mark before your pip command to install all the necessary libraries. So let's deep dive to the domain of machine learning and see the implementation of this model through code. Initially, we have uh, imported all the necessary libraries that uh, we will be using throughout our uh, machine learning model building. Finish. Secondly, we have loaded a data set and we have visualized our data set through its first five values and through its last five values through df.head function and df.tail function. df.head returns the first five observations of our data set and df.tail returns the last five observations of our data set respectively. We have seen the shape of our data set which returns 25,2. This infers that this particular data set contains 25 rows and 2 columns as you can see. So next, it's time to check that whether our data set consists of any null values or not. So this, this particular thing is checked through df.isAny function. df.isAny function if returns falls in each and every set of our data set so which through which we can easily conclude that there is no particular null value present in our data set and we can move ahead with further operations on our data set to reach our model building process so as you can see that this particular function returns that in our in our in our column there is no null value and there is not even null value in scores even so this gives us the inference that no missing values are present in a data set. So we can move ahead with further operations in a data set. So as you can see that each and every cell of, uh, of this particular function returns a false on it. So that we can infer that our data set is clean. So there is no, uh, uh, no need to clean our data. So then we can directly move ahead with further operations in our data set. So it's time to plot some visualizations so that we can easily understand what the data is trying to say and we can achieve maximum and efficient insights. So as you can see that using matplotlib uh, lib, uh, library in Python and through this particular code applet, we can easily achieve this somewhat kind of graph that we have, that you can see on your screen in the output stream. Here on X axis, we have plotted the R study and on Y axis, we have plotted the percentage scores. So as you can see that this particular graph shows somewhat a linear relationship between hours studied and percentage scores. As you can see that as the number of hours are increasing, particularly percentage value is also increasing. So as you can see that, that this bears a linear relationship and vice versa. If hours increases, percentage increases and if R decreases, percentage decreases. So as you can see that I have mentioned here too, from the above graph, we can see that there exists a linear relationship between R studied and percentage score. Hence, we can infer that percentage score increases as the number of study hours increases. Next, it's time to check some statistical results through df.describe functions. We have created a data frame name, name, known as df and all the operations will call through this particular data frame and all the operations will do through this data frame only in our machine learning building process. So as you can see that df.describe function out here gives us all the statistical results of our data set. For example, mean, standard deviation, minimum of our data set, 25% of our data set, 50% of data set, 75% of data set, data set and maximum value of data set. As you can see that it gives the value of all these, uh, all these basically variables in both the columns. As you can see that 50% of our is for 50% of score is 47.0. So this is basically describe function gives are all the statistical results of our data set. It's time to, it's time our data set, it's time to train our data set basically. It's time to train our data set through 
different algorithms and for example we have seen that there is a linear relationship between all both the variable so we'll use linear regression algorithm mostly and we'll see in, uh, in the further process so as we can see that uh, it's we have splitted our data set through ialog function in python basically ialog function in python is responsible to split our data set we have we have split our data set through colon this particular syntax and ialog function is used to split our data set as you can see in x we have all, it is an it it returns it, 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 an array basically which contains all the hours values that how many hours a student study and in y basically it contains it it, it again returns an array which contains that which contains all the percentage value that our data set bears so as you can see that in x we have all these hours value and in y we have percentage value so it's time to pull our data set or pull our model to a train test split phase it's time or it's time to generate a train test split phase in our, in our model through which can be achieved through sql and module in python train test split phase basically it's the phase in which the data is trained accordingly to the data set provided and after once the data is trained we'll predict some values and see that whether the our model is predicting correct values and how mu how much differ it from actual values so basically this particular code applet tells us about the train test split phase and this particular code tells us that there is 0.2% of data that is 20% of data not 0.2% we have uh, initialized test size equals to 0.2 which means that 20% of data will be using for training our data set and rest of data will be using for testing purpose so test size is 0.2 we'll use 20% of data to train the data set first then machine will automatically analyze it and will predict our further results so basically again from sql and module of linear regression we'll import linear regression algorithm as we can use directly linear regression algorithm uh, through its sql and module as you can see that hours and percentage bears a linear relationship between each other so we are using linear re regression algorithm of sql and module and we have initialized the regression variable as linear regression whatever will be the output of linear regression will be stored in a regressor variable and through fit function on regressor we have trained our data set basically this tells us what we have that we have trained our model successfully that we have all we have declared all the variables x train x test y train and y test and then we have fit all these variables on regressor through fit function so this particular code applet tells us that training of data is training of model is completed and finally and successfully we have loaded linear regression algorithm on in our model as you can see that this output stream particularly gives linear regression which concludes that we have successfully loaded the algorithm linear regression in our model basically next is one of the most important cell of our model most important code applet of our model which is fitting the line of linear regression on our graph so as you can see that this is a straight line which bears a linear relationship between hours and percentage so the straight line bears the equation of y equal to mx plus c so this is particularly this this syntax particularly plots the line or initializes a line which is a straight line as you can see that you can map each and every variable of y equal to mx plus c as line equal to regressor dot coefficient into x plus regressor dot intercept so you can map y as line m as regressor dot coefficient x as x plus c as regressor dot intercept so basically if this y equal to mx plus c is a best fit line that we have plotted in our data on our data which, which shows that there is a linear relationship between r studied and percentage score so we have successfully trained our data we have successfully built our model through a linear or regression algorithm now it's time to check our model it's time to predict the values from our model and see whether our model is efficient or not and is giving the efficient and maximum results or not and how the predicted values differ from actual values which will give the efficiency of of this model so basically we have created a data frame of actual and predicted values basically this data frame tells us that how the values differ from predicted and actual as you can see that the values are somewhat close enough that our model predict and to the from the actual values 
So considering a data set, basically considering a point incoming input of R is equals to 9.2. We have successfully trained our model. We have now it's time to predict the values. And through this regressor dot predict, we will yeah, the model will predict the percentage of a student according to the R's given in the input. So as you can see in the data set, that the maximum score in a data set is given as 7.8 hours of study and he she can score 86%. So we are giving the input as 9.2 hours. So let's have a check that if a person studies or if a person devotes 9.2 hours of learning, then how much he she can score. So our model comes out to be predict as if a person studies 9.2 hours a day, the predicted score would be 93.1%. So as you can see that it's somewhat close that our model is predicting. So we can easily infer that our model is predicting the best maximum output and giving the efficient results. So we concluded that if a student is involved in 9.25 hours of study per day, and there is a possibility that the percentage comes out to be 93.69 percentage. So as you can see that this particular code applet is the last code applet of this video, which will tell us, which tells us how much error or what is the efficiency or the performance of the algorithm. So which, which can be calculated as mean absolute error. Here mean absolute error can be imported from mat matrix model of Python. And you can easily see that mean absolute error comes out to be 4.1, which is somewhat okay. So our model is predicting a great result and our model is best fit for predicting the percentage of a student on the basis of number of hours he she studied. So thank you so much guys. We'll see you in the next video. Keep exploring and keep exploring.